Hello everyone. In this introduction to C Sharp video, we are going to take a look at variables and declaring them as well. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So what is a variable? A variable is a way of storing information within a script. It's as simple as that. And that information can either be given to the script via the coder or via the game or via another script. There are five simple variables that we would use within development. There are many, many more types of variable, but the five simple types are integers, floats, strings, bools, and game objects. So an integer would be the whole number. A float would be the decimal number. A string would be text, or it could be numbers. However, it would be undone as a string. So if you were to put the number 6000 as a string, it would not be a number. It would technically be text. A bool is a logic gate, true or false. And game object can reference any particular object inside the Unity environment. So to declare a variable, we have to state it inside the class, or you could state it inside the method. However, that variable would only be usable inside the method it's stated in. That's why most of the time it is handy to state variables inside the class rather than the method. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to get rid of this green text. That green text is just an annotation. It isn't needed. It's a way of noting down certain things within the script. It, think of it as a guide to what you've typed. So let's declare a variable. So declaring a variable, you can either have it public or not. If you were to have it public, you would be able to see it visually inside Unity. If you were to have it public, it would only be recognizable inside this script. So most of the time, I do prefer personally, my own personal preference, to have things public. This helps me as a developer to see those variables in action when I'm testing any game inside Unity. So for that purpose, we would type the word public, and then we would type the variable type. In this case, Let's start with the integer. Now, to type an integer here, you wouldn't type the full word integer. You would just type I-N-T. And you can see that drop-down list that I spoke about in the last video, where it helps you decide what you're actually typing. So in this case, we are just typing int. So the next thing to type here would be the name of your variable. In this case, let's call this variable whole number. And remember that semicolon at the end of your line. Now what I've done here is known as camel casing. Camel casing is a way of establishing a certain etiquette inside your script. In this case, I have a lowercase w and an uppercase n. That is known as camel casing. Most of the time you'll find that is the standard inside any script. So we're going to stay with that standard. So that line there, we have declared our first variable. Let's declare another variable. Let's declare that float. So we are going to have public once again, and then we'll type the word float. That float is basically the script saying, ah, we're going to be dealing with a decimal number here. So let's call it decimal number. And remember, you can call your variables anything as long as it is, is not a script name or a method name. So you could quite literally call this blue wall if you wanted to. Next, let's declare another variable known as a string. Once again, public string. And remember, this is all lowercase. Casing is very important. Capitalization is absolutely essential. If you don't have your capitalization correct within your code, things may not work as intended. 
And when you're declaring variables, I think that is the most important phase of you having your capitalization correct. For example, if we were to use an uppercase S, we would not be declaring a string at this point. Let's call this my new string. And remember that semicolon at the end. The next variable I spoke about as being a simple and most common one is a bool, which is that logic gate, which is true or false. So let's type the word public once again. Then we'll type the word bool, and you can see that by the time we've already typed B double O, it's already determined that we are going for a bool. And let's have this as my bool and that semicolon. Finally, let's go with the last one, which is the most common, and that is a game object. Now this one, if we type public, this one differs slightly from the other four. This one has capitalization, game object. So on the G and the O, you can see that capitalization there. And it is color coded slightly different than the previous ones. However, we are still declaring it as a variable. We can call this anything we want. We'll have this as new object with a semicolon. So those are the five most common and simple variables that we can declare inside a script. As I said, there are many different types of variables that you can have. So when you come into much deeper development, you'll have things like ArrayCast as a way of defining um, a an actual variable. And you'll also have things like transform as a way of declaring a variable. I would say transform may be a bit more common. However, these are definitely the five that you'll be dealing with the most, especially in your early years of programming within Unity. So in the next video, what I would like to do is we are going to explore some if statements. Now, getting into if statements is going to involve us dealing with many things that we have done in the past couple of videos. So we'll be bringing things together in that next video. I hope to see you in that next video. And don't forget, as I said earlier, please subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos like this. I appreciate you watching.